I can see it. No technical issues, I don't believe. So gold uh, starting to move. You're still well up there, really. You're not getting past any areas of early support. Okay, and if you put your time frames lower daily, weekly, you'll see many bumps in the road uh, like this. Okay, if I zoom out. Now, below that, and you know, the reason why it's sort of tumbling down very slowly is because you, like I said, you've got various levels of support to the left-hand side, which are just stopping it, okay? Now that trend is probably gonna continue until you get a serious catalyst in the market, okay? Which I wouldn't be shocked if it comes soon, you might get it later, but gold has lost its bearing really. I mean, in terms of what drives it up and what drives it down, it's, it's muddy waters. Now you've had uh, very lately, um, well, even today, I believe, uh, or yesterday, Biden talking about Iran, okay? People a little bit tentative about what they want to do with their gold because it's not flying up. Now, normally, if you had statements like this, gold would be flying to the, you know, to the to the high skies, but it's not happening. Hi to the person who's just come in, great to have you. Um, it's not happening yet, okay? Now, that's really weird, and that's what I mean by, you know, the status of why people buy gold has completely changed. Now, I'm not interested really in having reasonable shorts or at least risk averse shorts until you get considerably higher, especially given that current news environment. OK, the reason why is because I'm looking at gold now as an asset that is, um, you know, slowly moving to the downside. OK, and like I said, it's because people are starting to relinquish their positions. They're not really as interested in it as they were before, but it's not falling very quickly either. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if you first come up higher before you fall. I did, I believe, mention that as a short area the other day. Uh, I shorted it myself, okay, took gains. And really at this point, I'm not interested in reshorting it unless you get a big push up because there just isn't market value there, really. Um, you can see to the left hand side as well my technical reasons if you like for that occurring um you can see there's minor resistance okay over here and you can also see it shaping up around there so reasonable pullback would be ideal for me because it's the only point i'm going to actually attain any reasonable market value to scale in. Now, of course, as I always say, you need risk plans to do that. Gold could whip soar up to the highs and you could get absolutely ruined. Um, if you missed it at the start, I'm running a discount on my trading room. That's going to end soon. We're going to trade uh, FOMC live together later with all our academy members um, and we're five star rated and we've taught a lot of people all around the world. Um, so if you do want that, discounted entry link is right there. Don't forget to grab it. Okay, just move that out away for a minute and it will be under the video on YouTube uh, or at least my free training will. So a push up really is required for me. <clears throat> I'm not interested in getting short, especially with the news environment. You may find that gold retains its standing uh, as a safe haven asset and therefore you go up. But it's changed so much uh, lately because normally in this environment you would get a push up, but people aren't interested. And I should think it's probably something to do with the risk on environment. Um, in that people would rather buy stocks, things like that. They're not interested now. They're willing to take risk. And that's why sentiment is so important because you've got to assess what the environment of the market is at any time, what the sentiment is pointing to. Is it risk on? Is it risk off? Um, and that's something we talk about all the time. Keep my throat uh, undry. So <clears throat> if it was risk off, you might find people are trying to be safe with their trading. Okay, and therefore they let things move or they might buy safer assets. Not every time, but sometimes. And if it's risk on, people won't do that. Uh, hello to the other person come in. Um, you know, they're taking risks in stock markets instead, basically. But nonetheless, I'm happy to short gold on a rise. Okay, uh, front runner's okay, but really if you're a risk averse trader, it's got to come higher for me, just in line with key resistance. You can also see some of it over here. Um, on this previous move, there's a candle wick just in there. Okay, and all of this is no coincidence. These candle wicks don't just appear for no reason. They 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 come because that is where orders go in and out of the market repeatedly. Okay, so just be 
wary of that. And you'll find if you zoom out further, it's the case much, much earlier on. Okay, it's the same thing. Um, you know, the markets repeat themselves for that reason. So need a rise in gold. Otherwise, if gold falls, again, you could have very early entries and maybe a front runner, but I don't like it particularly for longs. I do this a lot with gold. I like to let gold grieve as much as it can. I like to let it sort of either have a big rise or a big fall before I take advantage of the impulse that the market inherently provides. So going to your weekly, I'm just going to get rid of all of that stuff. Um, what I mean by that is, well, you can see the market is slowly falling. We, I predicted that from up here. I said, I think it will wane. I think it will slowly come down because the demand is going away from gold. That's exactly what happened. Um, so if you've been shorting it, great. You can see it's still not there for longs. It's still getting rejected. And I think ultimately that will continue, whether you fall now or where I labeled it before. Um, I'm really not interested particularly in getting long in any reasonable sense until you get down here. Okay, that comes well in line with your key moving averages and it all comes in line with key support. Okay, those are just the, the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg of technical analysis. You want to get things right, as I said, um, you can go underneath. Uh, but that's where I'm really planning any reasonable long entries. Your stock oscillator or your RSI, what is really judging overbought and oversold conditions is coming to the downside. Even further would be ideal. I think you'll end up down here. I think the price will come down as well. And then I'd like to buy. But if I'm not buying now. Don't look at the news and say, wow, I'm going to buy because evidently the news isn't doing anything. The fact that Biden is talking about war and, and or Iran is or either party isn't doing anything for gold. It's hardly moving. Okay, it's much, much more the case that investors are focused on taking bigger risks. That's why um, stock markets are coming up, or US indexes at least. Uh, well, global.